the latest bogus covid treatment slash prophylactic slash cure. It's all of the above. In reality, it's none is inhaling hydrogen peroxide through an asthma nebulizer. Now, I'm going to say it a number of times throughout this segment to remain in compliance. This is a bad idea, not evidence based, not recommended by actual doctors and can be very harmful to your health. So don't nebulize hydrogen peroxide through asthma inhalers. I'm merely telling you that there are people doing it. Um, last week, we talked about so-called urine therapy, um, which involves drinking urine, rubbing it on your skin, uh, using it in a neti pot. You know, it, it, it's it does not do anything for covid, despite what that crazy guy I told you about last week says. The new one is inhaling uh, aerosolized, I guess we would call it hydrogen peroxide. This is wildly spreading. And uh, I, it, it's crazy because we, we had this long weekend. I check back in on the news when we get back from the long weekend and all of a sudden hydrogen peroxide inhalation is everywhere. So here's one guy explaining how the uh, hydrogen peroxide protects him not only from covid, but from people shedding vaccine on him, which is a whole other insane, widely debunked thing. And again, as a pre disclaimer, essentially nothing that you're going to hear in this clip is uh, accurate. So let's take a listen. Is, uh, there's been a lot of articles saying, oh, this is terrible for you. Don't ever do this. Don't ever uh, inhale uh, nebulized uh, hydro peroxide. But hydra peroxide. Uh, if a doctor is going to go on and actually say to do this, uh, you know, I trust in the one doctor uh, again. I forget his name, but uh, I'll post a video. There's one doctor who is saying to do this and the guy doesn't remember that doctor's name, but all the other ones are saying don't. He trusts the one doctor whose name he doesn't remember. Videos, uh, Mercola has a conversation with him um, in a, a rumble. And by the way, anytime you hear the name uh, Dr. Mercola, head for the hills, folks. They're also on bed shoot. Where they talk about the guy's been bitch shoot. What on earth is happening? Doing this since the 90s. Now, he also utilizes uh, uh, iodine, um, puts like a drop oh, of iodine. The iodine thing also was floating around a few months ago. That's totally debunked as well. Dine into the into the medicine bottle here. I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm actually got some on order and see the iodine that they're recommending, I think is a uh, it costs like nine bucks for two little bottles. Doesn't this guy just inspire confidence in terms of medical treatments or something like that? So, again, there are different ways to do it, but I find that this is the easiest way. Plus, you got it like, you know, in the fridge and it's ready to go. So whenever I go to a rally or I'm going to a restaurant or I went to the movies the other night and stuff like that, uh, and, you know, I don't ever wear a mask. So, uh, right. Not that they help, but I, the first thing I do is I come in and I put one of these on. Isn't that brilliant? He says. I do this because I don't ever wear a mask, even though the masks don't help. Well, then why do you need to do something in lieu of wearing a mask? Like every, you could analyze every sentence and it wouldn't make any sense. Also, I don't have to wait for that. I, to be honest with you, uh, when I get up in the morning, I do this. And since then, I haven't been taking uh, any antihistamines. Uh, anything like that. I haven't been taking uh, any cold medication. I haven't had any like congestion. Um, my sleep has been a lot better. Um, I, 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 and I attribute it to this. Now, as I want to point something out as a very, oh, and he says, this is the only thing that I've done this. He attributes it to this. Anytime th this, this starts, this is a very common thing in general in the kind of quack cures thing, which is they start to tell you it basically cures and treats everything, you know, and this has been floating around for a long time and it's everything from, you know, you can find that drinking colloidal silver, it, it, it basically it treats everything or uh, pomegranate or any time something treats so many conditions and, and deals with so many th symptoms, aside from the fact that this is not a medical professional, you, we should all be skeptical and really different. So um, nebulizer, unless it's like, you know, maintaining a regimen of a good diet, exercise, going outside every single day. It's like, yes, that all together, that entire lifestyle is good for a lot of different things. But whenever it's like 
hydrogen peroxide treats all these things. We should be very skeptical. 80 bucks, 90 with tax. Uh, I would say eight to ten dollars for for the uh, food grade, 12 percent hydrogen peroxide for 100 bucks. I think it's it's worth it. And again, like I said, I, I I went to the movies the other night in Pasadena. You don't have to show a vax card and we didn't wear masks and uh, we're in the you know, in there with a bunch of, you know, vaxxed out people shedding all over us and everything like that, even though they got mask on. I put, you know, the first thing I did as soon as I got home is I uh, hit this. It takes about 10 minutes to, to go to the end here. And uh, you can watch TV while you're doing it. It's not that intrusive. It's a little so he's using it. Interesting to protect himself, not only from the virus, but also from vaccine shedding, which, again, we, we've debunked all of this. So do not inhale hydrogen peroxide. OK, Healthline has published extensively on this. Um, it can hurt your lungs. It won't prevent covid. Um, there is a quote from. Uh, the AAFA, which is the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, they said hydrogen peroxide can be used as a cleaner and stain remover and can cause tissue damage if you swallow it or breathe it in. Dr. Len Horvitz, who's a nationally recognized pulmonary specialist, said um, that this could seriously harm people. Quote, the very beginning of this, let's talk about things that are ridiculous. Way back in March of 2020, I had a patient send me something from what seemed to be a scientific study that explained the virus is inactivated by heat and suggested putting a hair dryer up to your nose five minutes every day. Maybe they were just trying to sell hair dryers. Uh, don't do this, guys. It's extraordinarily dangerous. It's a very, very bad idea. And what's endlessly fascinating as a as a sort of detached observer is they seem determined to try anything other than the vaccine, which we know is very likely to keep you out of serious covid. Anything else they'll try iodine, hair dryer up your nose, nebulized hydrogen peroxide, urine therapy. But we've got the vaccine. It's FDA approved. It works really well at preventing serious illness. And yet that they don't seem to want. It's truly incredible. It's like they're determined to thin themselves out either by getting covid and dying or by using dangerous so-called treatments, which are not actually treatments. And again, just as a reminder, this is an unproven treatment that shouldn't be called a treatment that can hurt you. So do not nebulize hydrogen peroxide. One of our sponsors is Cometeer Coffee. Cometeer Coffee is delicious. I can tell you firsthand, and they've discovered the best way to brew, preserve and deliver coffee. Their brewing process captures over 2000 flavor compounds. Then the coffee is flash frozen, locking in the flavor. It arrives at your home frozen in a fully recyclable capsule. All you have to do is melt it by adding hot water or cold water for iced coffee. It takes seconds. It's the most convenient way that I have ever made coffee. I've been impressed with how the process protects the flavor. I really enjoy Cometeer. They have a variety of flavor options, light, medium and dark single origin and blended coffee roasts from the best specialty roasters. You'll get twenty dollars off when you go to Cometeer.com slash Pacman. The link is underneath this video.